Hello. Yes, like you say, I'm, I'm Joel. A um, little bit about me to start off with is I'm from a very small uh, farming community from the North Yorkshire Moors. Um, I am very much uh, a farmer, I'm a country boy. I And the move to Worcester was a big change for me. It's a big city. But I came here because it felt like home, because my local city is York. And anyone who's been to York, it's a very classical place, very you know beautiful. Now, coming to Worcester was a big change for me. Um, the reason I came here, though, was because of my lecturers. You could tell from the interview, they just wanted to make you drive for success. Um, I mean, there's a couple more students here. There's Kirsty and Nathan, who are both very, very talented. And I think without our lecturers, we wouldn't have been pushed this far. Now, Worcester, for me, is in a void. And a couple of people I've spoken to, her, they, they agree. It, it's, there's, it is classical in the sense it has history, yet it doesn't have its own identity. York is very much has its own identity. My little village has its own identity. If you go there, you'll know you're in the middle of nowhere. Um, but the community that I live in, this is what I bring um, to the kiln. The community that I live in, I purely respect that everyone has their own um, has their own skill set, has their own drive, and without each other, you, you simply you you can't work together. Um, you can't you can't proceed. You need the inspiration. You need um, everyone's skill set, everyone's training. My next door neighbour is our local mechanic. Um, we don't pay him in in uh, money. We pay him in produce. Uh, our fleeces from our sheep, uh, lamb meat. You know that's how we pay it. and. Every single person in a community, like an artist community, helps to run each other. Um, now, Worcester needs this kind of kick up the backside, like I said to people, and an artistic community would be fantastic. Now, students, they are very fresh. Every three years is a complete new skill set, and we progress year in, year out. If you take a look at my work before university compared to my work now, it's a whole different meaning. It, I really was um, what I see to be anyway, amateur now, and I progressed to a professional standards. Well, it's kind of reiterating it, really, isn't it? That the skills are here that you wanted to become to Worcester. Yeah. And I think a lot of people who work in design or technology do feel that they do have to move down to London to mm. try and advance. If that's what, lots of architecture and the design, the graphic illustration, I imagine, Ralph as well. A lot of people think if you really want to make it and go for it, you need to move down to London. But yeah, that's right. That's the whole point of why we're trying to do something up here is to try yeah. and so people don't have to, and we can create something in Worcester. That doesn't that, it, I mean, the university is, is an attractive place to be uh, for for its arts courses. It's a very attractive place to be, and it just keeps getting bigger. I mean, I know we have we bought the new uh, or the old furniture store, um, and I hope and I, I know it will. Turned out to be a fantastic space. That's what we did. Well. <laughs> oh, there you go. Then. Um, yeah. Whereas in the hive, where we currently exhibit most of our exhibitions, you you feel lost in the sense of a word. Um, it's a great place to be. It's a great space, but you're almost isolated into the central. This is what the students believe. You're almost isolated into this small space where people. It's not their intention to go view your exhibition. It's more of a secondary, you know, oh, I've got the books out now, what's this? Um, so yeah, I, I do love it, so it's, yeah, and it, it does need, like I said, this, this kind of shove. And it's a bit of a cord, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. It, 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 and it will happen. And where do you think you'll go with your illustration that you're doing at the moment? What do you, would you like to see yourself doing? Would you like to set up a small business or would you like to work um, for somebody? Or I, I would prefer to work for someone in the sense that I, I kind of I thrive off the potential progression. Like if if I can progress through a company, I, I will. Um, be it, my illustration is more based around uh, like advertising, more social commentary. There's a bit of work I've done for Frack Off, the um, anti-fracking company. So that's something that's affected me back home. Um, 
you know, the, uh, this hydraulic fracturing is, you know, he's getting all this stuff. And I, 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 want, I wanted to speak against it. And then from there, I made my own projects, like, um, against, you know, um, kind of the influx of social media, whereas it's a great thing to have social media, but there is a point where it can come in front of life. You know, you see these kids with, you know, like 10 years old and got their head buried in their tablet. It's just, it's a bit, it's scary. But I, I, I thrive off human interaction. And, you know, to, like I said, for, if there's a chance for progression, I'll, I'll take it. Absolutely. Great. Very nice. Is anybody got any questions? Do you think, um, how do you think your relationship has been with the sort of creative business community in Worcester? Do you think you've had an opportunity to have a relationship with it over I, the last three years? Personally, I haven't had any experience of having um, a community to kind of go to. We have a small community of students um, but what we've all agreed on is that there's trying to attract people to our work and at the same time other people wanting to attract us to work for them is very limited indeed and it's, it, it's, it's tough because to get these jobs that are out there for us you need, um, you need experience but while I was in university I was kind of hoping for this experience to come across, you know, maybe do a, a bit of internships, um, but to date there hasn't been any experience for me and that's what's tough now for me. Mm. At the moment I'm working on the farm, um, <laughs> I've come back just for this, uh, but I, I, I'm actively, like, I, I will be an illustrator by trade and that, that is what I will do. Um, so, the, the, like I said, there's no opportunity I won't turn down. I, I will go wherever. I, I've applied all around the world. Um, I, you know, I, I will never turn anything down. That's, that's the way people have to be, I, I guess. Without any uh, experience, we, we have to say what we can get. Well, hopefully that's in Worcester. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's it. No, I'd love to be back here. I really would. I love the city. I really do. Well, I think, I think Joel, uh, it's probably this is a prime example of students want to look for something, and you're looking for something, hopefully they've got somewhere in Worcester to, to do that, Yeah. then that's the great way to go. That's it. Thank you for joining us and helping us out, because we need somebody like you with us <laughs> at Halfman University. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.